These last two incidents, as I said on Friday, those are up for critical incident review to see if those guidelines were followed, but we'll also look at the broader uh, mandate of those, uh, those guidelines. We do have safe discharge guidelines. Part of what the critical incident review will look at is whether or not those safe discharge guidelines were followed and whether we need to strengthen them. No one's expecting cab drivers to make medical decisions. It's up to doctors to determine whether or not somebody is safe and healthy enough to go home. All we're asking is to formalize what is already happening in many, many cases. I certainly have, I've taken a taxi cab and, and seen that they wait in the driveway and watch that you make it through the front door. We're going to work with the taxi cab industry, the RHAs, the taxi cab industry to develop and formalize what we know is happening in many cases already. Just an extra pair of eyes on someone to make sure they make it through the front door. I know, we know that cab that cab drivers care about the people that are in their cabs. We know that many of them are already doing this. We're talking about formalizing the actions that many, many cab drivers are already doing. The important part is to take a look at those safe discharge guidelines and ensure that we have the best possible care for patients. When a doctor determines that somebody is healthy enough to go home, we also want to make sure that there's a support in place when they get there. Clarify well, what you would like cases, to formalize. These people, these people died after being discharged. <coughs> Excuse me. So whether or not they're discharged safely and they make it to their door, it, it appears that they were discharged too early. The critical incident is going to look at all that and see if those guidelines were followed, but part of it will also make sure that they were medically ready to go home. Doctors make those determinations and the critical incident will look at whether everything was, was looked at appropriately in terms of their health and the state of their health at the time when those doctors made that decision. I think the most important thing is that we take a, a chance for the critical incident review to do its work to come back and, and to, to learn from what happened in these particular cases, to learn from where there were gaps as well. Uh, we would never be asking taxi drivers to make medical decisions. That's in the hands of, of our medical professionals. That's the determination that our doctors have to make.